It's morning number two. What are we cooking? Uh, bodies in the gravy. What? Welcome back to Cooking with OTK. Essentially, biscuits and gravy. But come on, it's a themed camp out. Oh. <laughs> so we're gonna take some biscuits and make them into bodies. Normally, you just lay these all out, but you know, like I said, it is uh, a holiday and we're celebrating, so we're gonna make them fun. Festive. Ooh. Now, does it turn out? I don't know. Never done this. Yeah, we'll see. That's why we're called the test kitchen. That's some big feet. You know what they say about people with big feet? Big socks. And uncomfortable shoes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this may turn out to a complete mess or. Oh, it's super cute. Some big old ears you got on there. <laughs> you can relate. Oh, I was making hair. Oh, and the rest of the dough, we're just gonna fill in. All right, we're gonna take our guy. Unfortunately, he's dead. We're gonna take him to the cremator. The cremation station. Oh, it's hot. Oh, my camera. So about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, about 10 or 15 minutes. There we go. All right. Well, while those guys are baking, we're gonna make a gravy. Ooh. Huh, sorry, it's early. Still waking up. Okay. Waiting for the coffee. We're gonna start with our grave. <laughs> and it's a simple sausage gravy. We're just gonna take some breakfast sausage of your choice, one pound, throw it in a skillet. Well, I like to wear a glove, and I can just kind of pre-break it up. Whoa. And throw the sausage all over the place? Yep, because we just want to cook this sausage down, get that fat, and may add a little butter so we can make a little blonde roux, and then milk, some seasonings, quick, fast, simple gravy. Now we're just gonna let this get sauteed. All right. Well, our sausage is getting nice and brown, breaking it all up. Didn't render off a lot of fat, so we're gonna put about two tablespoons of butter and then four tablespoons of flour. We need some fat in there so we can make a little roux so when we add our milk, it gets nice and thick. Let that melt, put our butter up. You butter? Yeah, better believe it. And we already went ahead and measured two and a half cups of milk. Does it matter what kind of milk? Uh, whole milk, don't use skim. You're making sausage and gravy. Come on, it's not a health food. <laughs> Just to fill you up out at the campsite, if you're hunting, working. Get, and get plenty of those calories for those kinds of activities. Hiking, canoeing, you need the calories. All right, that's almost ready. We'll go ahead and throw in a couple of seasonings, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, to about a half teaspoon of pepper flake, and then a quarter teaspoon of sage. I just like a little extra sage. Sage is a good additive for breakfast. And then we'll add about a teaspoon of pepper. Black pepper. I'd say about half a teaspoon of smoked salt. And now four tablespoons of flour. And I like to jar up things out of the campsite. It makes it easy for transport. Ooh. All right, we're just gonna give that a nice stir. Let that flour kind of cook for just a moment, just so it gets that raw flour taste out. You don't want your gravy to taste like flour. Yeah, so we're gonna cook that flour for just a moment. Let it coat all that sausage. So when we add our milk, it'll make a nice gravy. See, that's how fast it is. And take a little whisk. And that's two and a half cups of milk, right? Yep, two and a half cups of whole milk. Let it come to a simmer and it'll start thickening up. Then we'll give it a little taste to make sure we don't need to adjust our seasonings. Well, we're gonna let this simmer and either this gravy is gonna be ready first or these biscuits. And we'll be back with either one. Yes, we will. Boo right back. <laughs> All right. The gravy yes. won. See? And it only took a couple minutes. It did. It really didn't take long at all. We're gonna grab some spoons and taste it. Give it a taster. Oh, it's gonna be hot. <laughs> yeah? That's gonna be good. Yeah. See? And if you don't want it too spicy, you can cut back on the pepper flake, but we got such a mild sausage, I want to add a little more spice to it. Yeah. And I think it's perfect. I was gonna, I'm gonna get so full. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Oh, oh, biscuit time. All right, guys. Well, it's been uh, almost 25 minutes. You gotta remember on these little camp stoves, the directions may say 15 minutes. Do start with your 15 and then do five minute intervals because they take a little longer than your normal household stove. But they still work just great. Yeah, they turn out good. There's our little guy. <laughs> That's so cool. So we got our gravy, got our little guy. I will say they are hot. It's like yes. they came out of the oven. It's probably a little warm, I would guess. He just broke his arm. That's okay. He's dead. He won't mind. Pull his legs off. Yeah, just make him a little shorter. Ploop, ploop. Oh. Look at him. Time to put him in the grave. So we're just gonna take our grave E <laughs> and bury him. No many buttons. If we had some jelly, I would say bury good. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. Because earlier on this trip, 
We made some awesome cranberry pepper jelly. And so we're using it. It's the best thing. Look at that. Sweet, unsavory, always goes very well. Poor little guy's bleeding through his grave. No, he's a mess. Flowers on top of his grave. All right, that is our bodies in the grave. Eat. My favorite part. Mine too. Time to eat. Time to fork this thing up. Tell you what, I'm pretty stoked. Me too, dude. Or jam. <laughs> you can't beat old school biscuits and gravy. Especially out at campsite, we got a campfire going. Mm-hmm. Man, that was awesome. You got the smell of a campfire in the background. Biscuits and grave. <laughs> eat. All right, well, we got a lot uh, hiking and going out on the lake, doing a little fishing today. We got a busy day. We got a very busy day. All right, guys, remember, Keep camping and keep cooking. Yeah. I'm gonna keep eating. Me too. Oh God, no, that was my arm.